Thompson has a tremendous amount of experience in screws, both ball and lead screws. We have a tremendous amount of experience with all types of linear guides. And so what was really innovative about this product was we were able to figure out a way to combine a screw and a linear bearing into one really compact package. Our engineers figured out a way to use what, what normally is a really a, a useless surface of, of a screw, which is the external and an outer diameter of the screw. Essentially what we've done is we've created a bearing surface on the outside of the diameter of the screw and the radial bearings on the inside of the nut ride along the outside diameter of that screw. And that really was the breakthrough innovation that allowed this product to, um, to come to being. Reduced footprint's really important one because uh, equipment makers that we're dealing with, uh, they, they, they want to have the smallest possible machine. Sometimes they may have had a floor model that they're now trying to take to a desktop model, and so they want to have something that's much more compact. This is our demo rig, and what we're showing is three different technologies. Again, profile rail, glide screw, round rail. The round rail system not only has more components, takes up more space, whereas the next largest would be your profile rail. In this application, you see one rail and a lead screw. You've got more height because of the number of components, but you also have just a larger footprint overall. The glide screw is basically the size of the nut. So not only do you have the fewest components, but you've got the smallest space possible. So the second thing, uptime, uh, there's a couple things that go into that with this product. The first one is, is, is really around alignment. So with, with this product, actually, the, the screw and the bearing come from the factory pre-aligned, which is really compelling for our customers because they can spend a lot of time in the process of installing the equipment to make sure everything's lined up. And then there's a lot of, also a lot of recalls and failures and things that recur when you've got uh, equipment that goes into the field with misalignment issues. Uh, the other piece of uptime that we included in this product is actually a lubricant-infused polymer. And we were actually able to integrate that into the nut. So by including the lubricant, in the nut, we've eliminated the need to do any kind of field uh, maintenance on this product. Okay, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna install all three different versions. We've got profile rail, we have round rail and glide screw, and what we're gonna do is show basically the process of how someone would go about installing this into their application. In the right application, when you find an application where the glide screw fits well, you're able to dramatically reduce your part count you build materials, which reduces complexity for purchasing. Inventory can be lowered. And then the, the amount of time required to do the installation is dramatically reduced. Surface plate preparation is very critical to a profile rail because the rail is just not very forgiving of any kind of misalignment. It will bind uh, as it rolls. Uh, this is even more critical on a larger system. Uh, the one we're going to use is going to be fairly small. It's a micro guide. But again, surface plate preparation is very critical to a profile rail. Seeing this one, customers not prep the plate correctly and be within 10, 15 thousandths, and that's not uh, acceptable for a profile rail. It will bind. I'm tremendously excited about this product. You know, I've, I've been with Thompson for just over three years now, and this is, this is by far uh, one of the things I'm most excited about working on. It's a tremendously compelling product, I and mean, we've, we've taken this to customers, and they've just raved about how interested they are, and, and, and because it solves a lot of problems for them. Thompson has a legacy of great product development innovations over the years, and I think this is another one where Thompson really hit the mark.